Okay, my name is Sarah First Class Tripp. I'm the Military Science Instructor here at UWO Claire ROTC. And of course, we're talking about is MSL 102. So the activity that we filmed was the land navigation course. And although it's defined as land navigation three, some of the students have their first application with a map in front of them. Uh, the military map is really not much different. Instead of using latitude and longitude, we use the military grid reference system. And that has its own nuances. Uh, so as the cadets get exposure to this, they start to learn how to find where they are, plot their grids, define where they want to go and start to use the terrain in a way that would benefit them uh, from a movement standpoint. So if you have to move from point A to point B, you're obviously not going to swim across the lake, you need to plan a way around it. Uh, so defining how to do that can be challenging if there's multiple factors. The PT component for a freshman, and let's speak to a non-contracted, which is a person who just comes in and takes the class. Because we do have to pay respect to those people who come in here and have already made that decision and made a commitment to the Army, because there are four-year scholarship winners from high school, et cetera. So if you're a non-contracted student, I mean, receiving no benefits from the Army at all, uh, you're, we ask you to come to PT once a week. And PT, I'm sorry, physical training, thank you. And that is nothing more than us getting together for about an hour every morning. Right now it's from 6.30 to 7.30, and we do that at McPhee on the track, and typically it consists of running, push-ups and sit-ups, and a little bit of calisthenics. Most of the cadets that come in here end up forming a bond with the other cadets. And that's not because the instructors are great, that's not because uh, there's something special or unique that we offer here, it's just because when you're given a problem and you have to solve it to a team and you really feel a sense of ownership of that problem, you tend to bond with the people that you're, you're doing that with. Uh, it's amazing because that's really what most people get from it. When you walk back and you, at the end of every semester we do an after action review and we say, okay, what really made this course successful for you? And it ends up being the people in your left and right not really the instructors, not really the course material, but just going through this experience together and having the ability to bond. And that, that really becomes something special.